Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I would love, love to show you how you can integrate Jira with Microsoft Outlook. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at atlassian.net and uh, uh, go straight to Jira software. Once we are here at uh, our workplace, as you can see, there's this project. Uh, this project uh, M Stone that I created just to show you how it's done. What about now? We want to go to the top corner of our workplace and go to apps. We want to go down and find a new app. We can pick from over more than a thousand apps. So let's go and try and find Outlook. As you can see, there's a Outlook email teams and meetings. So yeah, let's go with this one. And as you can see, you can try it for free or you can uh, also then go to $10 per month subscription. We can uh, also create this uh, integration by using automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath the video and we are going to we are going to do it like this. We want to go to integration at our top corner at automate.eo and we want to go to the bottom left part of our bottom left part of this pop-up window. Uh, in this first window, we want to go and look for Jira. Uh, now we have to find the counterpart to Jira, which is, uh, as I said, Microsoft Outlook, like this. As you can see, we are already making the integration happen. Automate.io is providing us uh, with some uh, pre-made applications or pre-made integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, you just have to scroll down and go to and create your own integration. As you can see on the left side, there are triggers and we want to start with the gyro ones. When you scroll down, you can also see the Outlook uh, Outlook icon, but we are not uh, we are not going to use that now. Uh, so let's go with the Jira icon and let's go with the first one, for example. Second action is an email uh, or send an email at the contact, whatever uh, fits you. So, but it also has to be through Google Calendar. Oh, I'm sorry, my uh, Microsoft Outlook. Once we hit the Try It Now button, we'll get uh, redirected and we'll have to sign in to automate.eo account. Uh, once we do that, we are just a few clicks away from uh, finishing this integration. Uh, the other way around, it's zapier.com, where we also have to create ourselves an account. And once we do that, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. Once we click on Make a Zap, we get redirected again. We can name our Zap uh, for future purposes and uh, we want to set up ourselves a trigger. It works uh, almost the same way like it works at automate.eo. So we are starting with Jira, uh, Jira Software Cloud and new issue, continue. We have to now uh, connect with an account like this. Now there's this uh, set up a trigger. The project will be the one that I showed you at the start. If you're familiar with Jira software or you are working in uh, Jira with your colleagues, uh, there'll be plenty of them. So let's go and pick the stone one, continue. And now uh, you can test the trigger that you created. But uh, let's jump down to the second option. It will be Outlook. We click on Outlook, same as we did at Automate, and we have to pick from all of those. So let's go with the first one, for example. And the last thing we need to do is just to sign in with Microsoft Outlook, and we are basically done. So thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.